What's going on guys? It's Greg Nikos Dyes back with another head review. Today we're taking a look at the True Lacrosse Vector. This is their newest head and True Temper um, is sort of one of the small lacrosse companies, but it's actually a huge global company involved in golf. I actually have a wheelbarrow made by True Temper. I was like blown away when I saw that in my backyard. Um, but it's a very large company known for its lacrosse shafts and they've been trying to get into the head market but haven't had anything that's broken into the mainstream. And I think that this is gonna be their first head that might break them into that that mainstream head category. Not so different from Maverick back in like 2010 when they had made a bunch of heads but none were really that great and then they finally made the optic and it broke them into being one of the top head sellers. Um, this is the first true head that I think is a real contender. So um, they sent it over, got the packaging here, true vector, which is interesting because actually used a head called the STX Vector, V-E-C-T-O-R in college. So this is V-E-C-T-R. Like a, like a short version, Vector. Um, so uh, here's the head, 90 bucks. I've got the white version here. Um, and it's pretty light, it's 4.75 ounces, so a little heavier than the STX Surgeon that we just reviewed. Uh, 4.75 is certainly on the lightweight side of the column though. Um, and so looking at its general shape, uh, one of my favorite things about it is the face shape. It's got a great face shape where it's not too pinched, not too wide, kind of right in the middle, not so different from like the Rebel Offense. I think it would work for a lot of guys. It's not too specific. Um, and then going down the selling points they've got here, number one is called Speed Step, which I think is referring to uh, these ridges in the sidewall. I don't really know how much that's doing for you, but it does look cool. And then they've got the Smart Flex, which says it's a medium stiffness. Um, I would agree it is a light head, but I think it is less stiff than the Surgeon. Um, you, you can see the scoop has a little flex in it, the sides have a little give in it. So it's certainly not the stiffest head and they kind of spin that to be an advantage where you're gonna get maximum control, I guess saying the head would move with the ball. Personally, I would prefer a stiffer head and think even the surgeon, despite being lighter, is a little stiffer than this. So it is something to keep in mind that it's not quite as stiff as some other heads. And then max offset, which you can see here, which is this dip. Um, a lot of heads have this, almost all heads have this at this point. Um, but I do like the styling and I do like the face shape. And the one thing I think they did a really good job of is the string holes. So the top string holes are really big and well distributed. And then the sidewall holes, they have a lot of them, but not too many. Um, really good sized top holes where I could get a couple loops through pretty easily. And then a great spacing and size on the rest of them. So uh, some people do miss a little bit on the string holes. I think this did a really good job. And the pocket with a nice face shape combined with the string holes led to a good mid pocket. Um, overall, I think this head's gonna string really, really well. Uh, so one thing I wasn't in love with about the head and string the pocket is this really severe angle right here. You can see it goes straight down to the bottom rail and has this really severe turn, um, and it's, it's really wide for a long time. I think for an offensive head, this is not a great feature. I would have liked to have seen it be a little smoother. It just makes that pocket transition in the channel a little bit awkward. So um, I think these are things that they'll figure out as they get into more heads. But overall, uh, it is the best true head yet. Uh, I think maybe they're entering their name into contenders for the heads. They did a great job with the string holes um, and just a few little design features like this awkward little step right here that they're still working out as they get further into the heads. So thanks for watching guys. Let me know what you think of the true vector down in the comments. Let me know if there's any other heads you want me to take a look at. Like if you liked it, subscribe if you haven't and have a great day.